Yeah, Deji's just put up a, a post-fight reaction video, you know, to his sixth round stoppage defeat to Floyd Mayweather, you know, in Dubai. Yeah, Mayweather fucked him up, didn't it? I think Mayweather was thinking, like, you know, if you uh, you want the, the privilege of getting in there with me, you know, and earning the kind of payday that you're going to get, you know, for fighting on pay-per-view, you know, in Dubai, like, you better earn the money. You better earn your payday. So Mayweather fucked him up, didn't he? He didn't really hold back. He was kind of messing around during the fight, but he fucked him up in the end. You know, Deji, you know, he was trying to like do press ups. I did push ups. That pissed him off, all right? When I did that to him, he was angry. He was like, cool, I'm gonna hurt you, bro. I'm gonna hurt you. I saw it in his eyes. I knew what, I knew what the playing field was. I, I understood. It was a good experience and I had a lot of fun. Didn't look like that to me. So there was a lot of discrepancies, a lot of discrepancies. And I know this is Floyd's tactic, the money team, this is what they, their tactic. Uh, let, me, let me get into the nitty gritty. So in my contract, we were meant to fight 14 ounce gloves, all right? 14 ounce gloves. It's been in my contract from the beginning and to the end. Well, kind of the end. But then last minute, they're like, Floyd wants to fight in 10 ounce gloves. And I'm like, wait, what? That was never part of the contract. What is going on? I don't understand why it's gone from 14 to 10. Yeah, that's what Mayweather does, don't he? You know, he tried it with Canelo, didn't he? He tried to like boil him down and say to him, you can't come into the ring above a certain weight. Yeah, so Mayweather deliberately boiled Canelo down, you know, and he fucked him up, didn't he, Mayweather? So I suppose when you kind of... I consider TBE and all that and you fucking whatever created a legacy in boxing you can kind of make those demands in it but that's what he's done here with dead G you know trying to change the size of the gloves at the last minute you know he would have got fucked up anyway so it don't really matter but he probably got compensated for it you know because there was like a little change in the contract but Mayweather might not pay him at all you know like he did with Logan Paul he said that Mayweather robbed him, you know, and didn't pay him, you know, the money that he was owed, you know, for the pay-per-view fight that they had. But Mayweather said in an interview afterwards when he was asked about, you know, robbing Logan Paul, Mayweather said it takes a while, you know, for the pay-per-view money to be worked out, you know, for them to work out every single penny. So he said it takes a while. Mayweather said that he's still getting paid, you know, from some of his, like, earlier fights. You know, because the pay-per-view hasn't been worked out yet, but I don't know about that. You might just be saying that, I don't know what happened, but yeah. I had people from the money team, uh, Floyd's team, being like, bro, Deji, Floyd just wants to go in there and just have a little fun with you. He's not going to hit you hard or anything. I promise, you have my word on that, bro. You have my word. I don't know, it's like, it's kind of true, isn't it? Mayweather's kind of saying to Dead G, you know, like, if you want to be in there with me yeah, and get the payday that you're going to get, yeah, you, you got to fucking earn it, man. So he tried to fuck him up, you know, and put on a show. Mayweather's getting paid a load of money, you know, these fucking, these rich Arabs. They got that oil money, aren't they? You know, those Arabs. They fucking sorted Mayweather out, aren't they? But yeah, Dead G, prior to this, he thought that Fousey, you know, some little influencer. So to go from that to fighting on pay-per-view, you know, against like uh, TBE, it's like you've got to fucking suffer, man. You've got to, you've got to earn your money, aren't you? So I don't know why he's complaining about the gloves. You know, he probably got compensated for it anyway, so it don't really matter. Just take the L, man. Uh, Floyd's team being like, bro, Deji, Floyd just wants to go in there and just have a little fun with you. He's not going to hit you hard or anything. I promise you have my word on that, bro. You have my word. So I'm thinking like, okay, cool. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to just do the 10 ounce gloves. It won't be a big deal. I've got this guy's word. He's clearly like Floyd's right hand man. I'm going to trust him. And then he also told me that when you get into the clinch, just tell Floyd, like relax a little bit. And he'll, and he'll relax in the power. So I'm thinking, all right, you know what? Cool. All right, this is all right. It's, it's, uh, we're going to fight, but it's going to, it's, he's going to kind of go at my pace, you know? We got my pace. Yeah, no, he didn't. He was hitting me hard. I know he was hitting me hard because from the first round to the last round, the power was the exact same. I remember I clinched him and I'm like, bruh, relax. 
And you know what he said to me? Shut up. I'm Floyd <laughs> Mayweather. I do what I want. So I was just like, okay, cool. Mayweather's tough, you know. People used to think he was some little posse boxer running around the ring. The guy got hit with a right hand from Shane Mosley. Yeah. A beautiful right hand. You know, Mayweather took it, you know, and just fucking got through it. And he won the fight and fucked Shane Mosley up. But Mayweather's a tough guy. He's got a bit of spite in him as well. You know, he beat up that woman, didn't he? He got locked up. Came out of prison with an afro. You remember that afro that Mayweather had, you know, after he came out of prison for beating up that woman. I say he beat her up, but there was no, like, photos of her with any bruises or anything. So, you know, he probably just pushed her or something. But Mayweather's got a bit of a nasty streak. You remember when that Victor Ortiz headbutted Mayweather? You know, he fucking headbutted Mayweather. He got the head in there, didn't he, that Victor Ortiz? You know, and then he tried to, like, hug Mayweather. You know, Mayweather just fucked him up. You know, he wasn't interested in having a little hog, was he, Mayweather? You know, he wanted to mess him up, you know, for headbutting him. And he fucked up Victor Ortiz, so Mayweather's got that little streak in him. So, you know, when Mayweather told Deji to shut up, you know, Deji's got to respect that, hasn't he? He's got to respect it, man, because, like, you know the boxing ring? That's Mayweather's home, innit? You know, he's been boxing since he was a kid. You know, boxing in the Junior Olympics and all these other tournaments and, you know, it's his fucking sport, in it, boxing. But, you know, when Deji and his brother KSI were kids, you know, they knew nothing about boxing, did they? They knew nothing, man. But Mayweather was travelling the world, you know, fighting in all these tournaments. So, you know, when Mayweather told him to shut up, you know, Deji he kind of accepted it, didn't he? You know, because he was in Mayweather's home. You know, if you go to someone's house, you know, you have to show them that respect, don't you? You know, if they tell you to take your shoes off, you have to take your shoes off, you know, and show them that respect because you're in their house. You know, and it's the same with Deji. You know, when Mayweather told him to shut up, you know, he had to accept it, didn't he, Deji? You know, and he got smacked around the ring. But Mayweather shown him that respect in the end. You know, Deji, he... um Bruised Mayweather's eye. I was told that I hit him 25 times. I'll take that. I mean, I gave the man a black eye. I'll take that. Realistically, that's a W. Apparently, this man has never been cut before or had any sort of bruise. Uh, has Mayweather ever been cut? I know there's like a photoshopped photo, you know, of Mayweather. You know, with all bruises on him and cuts and all that. But that was just like... Photoshopped. You know Mayweather, people really wanted to see him lose, didn't they? They were praying, you know, for his downfall. They were praying he'd get fucked up, you know, and he didn't, did he? So they started photoshopping, you know, images of him with bruises and all that. You know, Fiddy saying Mayweather can't read. People were attacking Mayweather on that, weren't they? Fiddy challenged him, you know, to a reading contest. So, you know, when people were really desperate to see Mayweather's downfall in boxing and they didn't, they started trying to attack him, you know, from other angles, you know, about his reading and this and that. You know, people were trying to say Mayweather's broke, you know, hoping that he's broke, you know, saying, oh, he's got a load of tax bills that he hasn't paid. He's struggling. So he's having to fight in these exhibitions because he's broke. He's not broke. Man. Mayweather's on the ball, like, you know, in the press conference, you know, that little bottle on the table, Mayweather wants a drink, but he don't want the bottle to be seen on camera. So he puts it under the table, don't he, you know, so it don't get seen on camera. You don't want to give him free publicity, does he, Mayweather? So he put the bottle under the table, yeah. And then he told one of his assistants, you know, to take the label off the bottle. Where are we at? Shit, my fault. Five. Five, you can meet at this I take the, take the table. I mean, okay. take this up, please. Okay. Like, you can no product placement. Yeah. No product placement. That's what Mayweather said, didn't it? You know, he didn't want the logo to be seen, did he? You know, it's a bit like Coogan, isn't it? You know, and he ripped off that MTK Global sticker, you know, off of his mic. You know, when he was interviewing Connor Bomb, Coogan ripped off the MTK Global sticker, you know, when he was being investigated by the FBI. So Coogan conveniently ripped off the MTK Global sticker off of his mic. You could see the remains of the sticker that was ripped off by Coogan. You know, when he was trying to hide that MTK Global logo from the FBI. 
you know, and that's kind of similar to what Mayweather did, you know, and he didn't want that fucking label on that water bottle to be seen and to be given free publicity. So Mayweather, he's not broke, you know, he's on the ball, man. He's been talking for years and years about smart investments. And, you know, little moves like that, putting the water bottle under the table so that brand can't get free publicity. You know, it's it's a smart thing to do, isn't it? You know, from a financial point of view. So these people who are saying he's broke, you know, it's just wishful thinking, isn't it? They just want him to be broke, you know, because they're probably broke. So his mind's, you know, on money. He's not trying to promote another brand. Yeah, you don't want to fucking promote somebody, a company, unless they're paying him. You know, Mayweather, yeah. He was like shilling this shit crypto coin called Ethereum Max. You know, and the coin just crashed. You know, after a load of Mayweather fans like bought the, the coin, you know, because Mayweather was like shilling the coin. So was Kim Kardashian. And like the crypto coin, it crashed. And I think those two, you know, got talked to court. I think they got sued, you know, for promoting bullshit. So it's a bit snidey of a minute, Mayweather doing that. You know, trying to rob his fans and that. It's a bit fucking snidey, but it kind of shows that he's willing to sell out, you know, for the bag. So, you know, if he's willing to go to those depths of selling out people who have supported him over the years, you know, it kind of shows that he's probably on the ball financially. Because they say, you know, to get to the top financially, you have to be a bit corrupt and, you know, Mayweather and Kim Kardashian, they're kind of, they're kind of showing signs of that, aren't they? You know, shilling this little shit crypto coin called Ethereum Max. You know, and that Kim Kardashian, she broke into the billionaire rankings you know, recently, so, you know, it says it all, don't it? But Mayweather, he's not broke at all. He's financially on the ball, man. It's just wishful thinking, you know, from people who don't like him, who wanted to see him lose his unbeaten record, you know, in boxing. They wanted that O to go, didn't they? But he didn't. So Mayweather switched on, in it? He's kind of clued up, man. That's why it was a surprise, you know, when his daughter, Ayana, had a kid with NBA Youngboy, you know, a rapper who's got about 10 baby mamas already. You know, you'd think that Mayweather's discipline and his alertness, you know, being on the fucking ball, you'd think that he would have passed that on to his daughter. But she had a kid with some rapper, you know, who's got 10 baby mamas. I think he's had another couple of kids, you know, since getting Mayweather's daughter pregnant. So I don't know, I don't seem to have passed on, you know, to the next generation in the Mayweather family. But Mayweather's on the ball, man. You know, he's making millions, isn't he? You know, from these easy exhibitions. You know, he's having a good time, isn't he? He's fucking enjoying himself. He's getting paid. You know, he's on the fucking ball, isn't he, Mayweather? You know, smacking up people like Dead G. You know, Dead G, he was really happy. You know, that he gave Mayweather a black eye. I gave Floyd Mayweather a black eye. He fucking loves it, don't he? And whoever I fight next, I literally just feel sorry for you because what I fought Floyd. I'm, I'm not going to be scared to fight anyone anymore. So who do you think he should fight next? I hear people slagging him off, you know, in YouTube boxing. Saying, oh, it's not real boxing. But like I've said before, real boxers aren't fighting each other, are they? Joshua Fury are fucking about. Terence Crawford, Errol Spence are fucking about. You know, Connor Bomb being drugged up to the eyeballs, you know, denying there's a good fight with fucking Chris Eubank Jr. So real boxing is just shit anyway. So, you know, these little YouTubers, you know, I don't mind it. Yeah, he looks posse, don't he, that deji. You remember when he was staring at that nice little white woman with her legs open? You remember when he was staring at her posse, you know, with her legs open and he was like praying, you know, to get in there and get stuck in. You know, and that's before the Mayweather payday. So, you know, now his sexual stock has risen. Dead G. Yeah, his stock's gone up, hasn't it? Even though he got fucked up, his stock's gone up. His payday's gone up, you know, his profile. He already had like 10 million subscribers, you know, on YouTube. Dead G. So, you know, he's probably getting a bit of posse now, isn't he? So yeah, I don't know, he's, 
it's a win-win, isn't it? It was a win-win, the fight for Dead G. It was a fucking win-win, man. It's not pay-per-view, though. I don't... I didn't pay for that. Found a little stream in it. It's, it's not really worth paying for. You know, Mayweather was trying to dance one here, you know, trying to, you know, trying to make it into a bit of a spectacle, you know, trying to make out like it was pay-per-view worthy. You know, so people buy his next pay-per-view event. You know, Mayweather trying to dance like that. It wasn't really pay-per-view, was it? It was a bit shit. You know, that fucking John Fury, he was acting silly again, wasn't it? I don't know that guy, you know, I just think he's cringe. I think he's just fucking just desperate, you know, to try and get the kind of spotlight, you know, that his son Tyson Fury's at. Like, that's what some parents are like, you know, when they didn't make it in something. They try and like steal the limelight, you know, from their kids. Or they try and like push their kids into something that they fucked up in, you know, so that they can try and get in the spotlight and get on the camera and it's... It's what John Fiore does, man. He's cringe, man. He's taking his top off. He tries to be like one of those WWF wrestlers. I used to love wrestling, innit? And sometimes I tune into old WWF wrestling fights. You know, in the interviews and that. It's quite entertaining. But you know, seeing John Fiore trying out like those WWF wrestlers, it's fucking cringe, man. He's fucking... I don't know. He's trying to live off that whole... Poking a man's eye out, you know, and blinding him like Gerald McLennan. That's what he did, didn't he? John Fury, and he got a few years, but it's old news, man. You know, he's trying to steal the limelight from his sons, Tyson Fury and that fucking Tommy Fury. You know, that clown, Tommy Fury, trying to come in overweight and. I don't know, I just. I don't like him. I just don't. I think Tyson's done alright in boxing, but I just think the other Furies. Tommy and John Fury, they just ruin it, don't they? You know, trying to like pretend to climb out the ring to fight Jake Paul. His fat stomach and he's, he's just cringing it. You remember when he did that press conference and he said, when he's finished with you, he's going to bend your girlfriend over and do her like a dog. You know, it's corny, isn't it? It's corny, man. It's cringe. I fucking don't like him. I want Jake Paul to mess him up. I you know, really fuck him up. Fucking Molly May. Do you think Molly May is nicer than Sky Nicholson? Who do you think's got the sexual edge? I think it's Sky Nicholson, you know. Decent looking pussy, in it, both of them. Yeah, you know, Sky Nicholson, she got interviewed by one of those IFL fuckers recently, yeah. And she had like a load of makeup on and she, it was too much on it. It was, she's naturally attractive, so I don't know why she's putting on all that fucking makeup. That was in Australia, where she's from. And Eddie Earn was there as well. So Eddie Earn is like thousands and thousands of miles away from his wife. So I don't know if that Sky Nicholson was like trying to, you know, seduce Eddie Earn. You know, even though Eddie Earn's gone downhill with Joshua getting fucked up by Usyk and that fucking Connor bomb, you know, getting exposed for being a fucking drug cheat. But, you know, Eddie Earn, he's still got a bit of clout on it, a bit of fucking value. You know, Andrew Tate, you know, he talks about the, you know, the criteria that men need to have, you know, to be a high value man. And even though Eddie Earn's fighters, Joshua and Connor bomb, are going downhill, you know, he's still got the bag on the Eddie Earn, he's still got that money, he's still got that value, that status. This Sky Nicholson, she was working in some dead end job, yeah, that she didn't like. And Eddie Earn like took her out of the mud, you know, and started putting her on a few fancy boxing shows and getting her good paydays. So it's kind of turned her on, you know, and it's kind of caused her to put on a load of makeup, you know, and she's going to Eddie Earn's shows. You know, it's fucking obvious what's going on here, isn't it? She's trying to attract Eddie Earn. You know, with her makeup and her earrings and that little thing in her hair. She's quite nice, i got to give it her. She's trying to get with Eddie Earn. She's trying to turn him on. You know, even though he's going downhill. Did you see Coogan, like, conveniently walk past? You know, it was only a matter of time, wasn't it?
I knew he was going to turn up. You know, and I seen Sky Nicholson looking like that, you know, with all that makeup and, you know, her nice little earrings and her hair nicely done. You know, I knew it was only a matter of time, you know, until Coogan turned up and he did, didn't he? He like walked past, you know, trying to act like he was busy doing something. But he like snidely looked at the camera, you know what I mean? And he thought, yeah, Coogan's hanging around for sexual reasons, isn't he? So what he does is he like comes back and he like pushes the mic into her face. I've worked with both girls. You know, like it's a dick. <laughs> Coogan. You know, and then he walks off like he's some pimp. You know, like he's some gangster. What's he doing? What's he playing out there? I've worked with both girls. <laughs> Coogan. He's trying to be all sexually subliminal. You know, like it's a dick. But I don't really blame him, to be honest. She's quite nice, isn't she? She's all right. She's decent looking, man. You know, especially for a boxer. You know, Clarissa Shields, it's not a good look, is it? She's quite manly, isn't she? She's quite masculine, it's not a good look, is it? But you know, this Sky Nicholson, she's quite nice, quite feminine. You know, even though she's a boxer as well. Do you think she's nicer than Molly May? It's an interesting question, isn't it? Decent looking pussy, isn't it? Both of them. But yeah, that'll do anyway. I'm going to wrap this up, you know. I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for tuning in again, yeah. Thanks for that.